The Mass for Inspiration is being brought to you in part by the Seat Law Offices, 53 West Foothills Drive and Drums, phone 570-359-3283, or visit us online at theseatlawoffices.com, by Dr. and Mrs. Victor F. Greco, and the Lassant family. Entrance Antiphon, rejoice in the Lord always. Again I say rejoice, indeed the Lord is near. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's nativity, Enable us, we pray, to attain the joys of so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord and a day of vindication by our God. I rejoice heartily in the Lord. In my God is the joy of my soul, for he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride beckoned with her jewels. As the earth brings forth its plants and the garden makes its growth spring up, so will the Lord God make justice and praise spring up before all the nations. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorial psalm. My soul rejoices in my God. 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 My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. My soul rejoices in God, my Savior. My soul rejoices in my God. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. My soul rejoices in my God. My soul rejoices in my God. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. My soul rejoices in my God. My soul rejoices in my God. Our second reading is a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice always, pray without ceasing. In all circumstances, give thanks. For this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise prophetic utterances. Test everything, retain what is good. Refrain from every kind of evil. May the God of peace make you perfectly holy, and may you entirely, spirit, soul, and body, be preserved blameless for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will also accomplish it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony, to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. And this is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him 
to ask him, who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, but admitted, I am not the Christ. So they asked him, what are you then? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, no. So they said to him, who are you? So we can give an answer to those who sent us. What do you have to say for yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert. Make straight the way of the Lord, as Isaiah the prophet said. Some Pharisees were also sent. They asked him, why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ or Elijah or the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who was coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany across the Jordan, where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, a story about Advent and its meaning. One day a great king was traveling through his kingdom when he met an old beggar carrying a large ball. What can I do to help you, old man? There is nothing you can do for me, sire. What do you mean? I am the king. I possess unlimited power and wealth. I can fulfill the desire of anyone. The beggar warned, Think twice before you promise anything, sire. I will fulfill any request you make, the king insisted. Can you fill my begging bowl with something? Of course, the king said, somewhat amused at the beggar's doubting his royal power. The king called over one of his servants and ordered him to fill the bowl with gold. But the coins quickly disappeared. The king ordered him more gold to be poured into the bowl but the beggar's bowl remained empty. The king then ordered all the gold of his treasury to be brought and poured into the beggar's bowl. His counselors pleaded with him to stop. If I must lose my kingdom, so be it, the king said. But I cannot be defeated by this old beggar. Diamonds and pearls and emeralds, his treasuries were now empty but the beggar's bowl seemed to be bottomless. Everything that the king put into the bowl, everything, immediately disappeared, gone forever. Now a poor man himself, the king dropped to his knees before the beggar and admitted defeat. Tell me, sir, the king asked, what is this bowl made of that it swallows up such wealth? The beggar replied, the begging bowl is simply made up of human desire. The begging bowl is simply made up of human desire. And the beggar suddenly disappeared, leaving the empty bowl at the knees of the impoverished king. My dear friends, we are in the midst of the great season of wants and dreams. But as the king learns, Desires centered in wealth are never fully satisfied. A quest for power, celebrity, and wealth are doomed. The season of Advent, as John the Baptist prophesies, invites us to embrace the light of Christ, to seek love, not just popularity, to secure happiness, just not diversion. My dear friends, May God fill the begging bowls of our hearts and spirits with the never-ending joy of his compassion and peace, his healing and wisdom. Let us prayerfully recite the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, 
who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Encouraged by the message of the gospel, we strive to do God's will as we pray for one another. Let us offer our petitions to the Father. For the people of God, may we be forever thankful for the sacraments God has given us through the church, enabling the power of the Holy Spirit to work in our lives through them. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all nation leaders, may they strive to make wise and just laws that promote peace and justice for all people. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who suffer, that is, this Advent season, may help them reflect on God, what God wants to make straight in their lives, so as to bring about healing and blessing. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who work to heal the brokenhearted, who minister to prisoners, and who serve the poor, may their work be blessed by our prayers. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, that they may be clothed with the garments of salvation. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. This Sunday's Mass is being offered for the health and blessings of Mary Alice Nye and Carol Lawson. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, your people give glory and honor to your name. Hear the prayers we offer and answer them according to your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from his hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. 
For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat, eat this, this bread, bread and drink, and drink this, this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you, humbly we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity and accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace, Tom. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. The Mass for Inspiration is being brought to you in part by the Siege Law Offices, 53 West Foothills Drive and Drums, phone 570-359-3283, or visit us online at thesiegelawoffices.com, by Dr. and Mrs. Victor F. Greco and the LaSant family. Yeah.